So hello everybody welcome back in today's video we will be solving an engineering drawing question the question says a square prism base 40 mm and height 65 mm has its axis inclined at 45 degree to the ground and parallel to vp the edge of the base which is nearest to the ground level is 10 mm above the ground draw its fv tv and lsv view using first angle projection method so to visualize this question we need a 3d object So here is a 3D object of a square prism. If you see from the top, you will see only a square. But if you see from the side, you will see a rectangle. This rectangle has the breadth as 40 mm and the length as 65 mm. You will see this from the side. So if you rotate it as said in the question 45 degree, so you will see something like this from the side view. But from the top view, if we view it from the top, you will see that we can view some part of the top of the object and the side of the object next if we try to view it from the side you will see something like the side as well as the bottom but we will not be able to see the top so now that we have visualized the question let's start drawing the diagram so first we need to draw the planes and then we need to draw a square as the top view so the square will be of 40 40 mm and 40 mm so next we have to draw the diagonals so that we get the center point the center point will be the axis so we will extend the axis and draw a line perpendicular to it and next we will draw a few more lines from the base so that we have enough guiding lines to draw the actual side view so now we have to draw the side view this line this line right here is the 10 mm line here it is said that it is 10 mm above the ground so our total drawing will be 10 mm above the base line so this is our side view so next up we need to start numbering so from the top you will see a and 1 in the base we have 1 2 3 4 and in the top we have a b c d so this point will be merged like a and 1 this will be b and 2 this will be c and 3 this will be d and 4 similarly here at the side view you will see a and b from the point you are seeing this it is a 2d object but actually it is a 3d one so a point is at the front and b is at the back now we can also say that here 1 2 3 4 will be this point c d will be this point so now we need to rotate the square prism 45 degrees so we will draw a line and mark it as 45 degree and according to this from the 10 mm line we drew earlier we will draw a 65 mm line 65 mm is the height of this square prism now we need to extend the lines from here and here and complete the rectangle so this will be the side view when the whole square prism is rotated by 45 degree So now we need to draw the top view and the side view. So let's start drawing. This is the axis. You have to join the axis. You can name the axis as well. So now we have to write A and B because we have just rotated this thing like this. Only forty-five degree rotation. So no point will be changed. A B. This will be one two. This will be three four, and this will be C D. Now we need to draw the top view of this object. so you can see that we can draw the guiding lines from a b we will draw one line from c d we will draw another line from 1 to we will draw another line and from 3 4 we are we will draw another line but still we cannot draw an object here we need few more guiding lines to actually lock this part right so one line will be coming from this one a1 d4 this line will be joining right here and b2 c3 will be joining right here so now we have enough lines to draw the top view so here we can draw the top view right here denoted by dark blue so you can see that when we will be viewing the object from the top this part will be visible as we have shown in the 3d object as well this will be visible so we will mark this in bold and this part will be there but not visible right this will be at the back of the object so we will uh, draw this using dotted lines all right now we have to number this you can see that this will be 1 this will be 2 because these were merged previously this will be 3 this will be 4 anti clockwise marking right so now this will be a b c d 
टी दिस इज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज नंबरिंग एंड आवर फिगर इज ऑलरेडी लेवल सो नाउ वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द लेफ्ट एंड साइड व्यू सो हियर दी विल वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द गाइडिंग लाइन सो ए बी हेज अ गाइडिंग लाइन सी डी हेज अ गाइडिंग लाइन वन टू विल फॉर्म अ गाइडिंग लाइन एंड थ्री फोर ऑलरेडी हेज अ गाइडिंग लाइन सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट वी स्टिल नीड अ फ्यू लाइन सो वी विल एक्सटेंड दिस एंड दिस फ्रॉम द पॉइंट कवरिंग वन फोर ए डी विल विल बी एक्सपेंडेड एंड टू थ्री बी सी विल बी एक्सपेंडेड एंड नाउ वी नीड टू प्लेस अवर कॉम्पस राइट हियर एंड ड्रॉ दिस एंगल्स ऑल राइट सो दैट वी गेट द प्रोजेक्शन ऑन दिस प्लेन सेम विद दिस वन एंड नाउ वी नीड टू एक्सटेंड दिस लाइन अपवर्ड लाइक दिस एंड दिस सो यू विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द साइड व्यू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड व्यू just like this as we have enough guiding lines now so if you view this from this side you can say that we will be able to see the bottom of the object but not this part so we can mark this as we can see the bottom of the object but we cannot see this part so this will be dotted line all right so we have drawn this as well now we need to mark these numbers all right so you can see that this point is coming from a comma b so this can be a or b and this line you can if you trace this line back you can say only common thing is a the trick is 1 4 ad and ab which one is common a so this will be a if we see this point we have b and the line traces back to this one 2 3 bc what is common b so this will be b similarly this will be c as c is here and c is here this will be d as d is here and d is here okay now we need to mark this as well 1 2 and the guiding line says 1 and 4 common is 1 so this will be 1 this will be 2 as this is 2 and this is 2 you can actually the converging point the intersection point where it traces back will be the numbers what uh, what we need to mark 1 2 and if we trace back 1 4 ad which is common 1 this is a trick now we need to mark these as well this will be 3 as 3 is here and 3 is here and 4 because this is, this 4 is here and 4 is here so we have already marked this as well so now we need to draw the dimensions here is the dimension 65 mm is the height of the square prism 10 mm is the gap which is seen as 10 mm above the ground it is mentioned in the question and the base is 40 mm so this is 40 mm as marked and also we need to mark the fv tv and lsv so this is the complete drawing of the assignment 2 question number 